the topic is on cosmetics under that cold cream and vanishing cream in usp 18 creams can be defined as semi solid emulsions which have been dissolved either oil in water or water in oil type and these are semi solid emulsions which are usually medicated intended for external application so basically the skin care creams can be classified based on its emulsion type that is water and oil creams and oil and water creams water and oil creams example cold cream oil and water creams vanishing cream even as the skin uh, the skin care uh, cream can be classified based on its function like based on cleansing or foundation or moisturizing effect so let me start up with the definition of cold cream it is a, a type of an emulsion which is of water and oil and it produces cooling sensation uh, based on the mechanism of evaporation of water uh, after application of the cream to the skin hence it is known as cold creams it produce emollient action by the layer left on the skin after application and it should be non occlusive in nature and also the basic uh, functions or uses of cold cream are it uses as moisturizer makeup remover and cleanser it contains borax beeswax which acts as an emulsifying agent and cold cream is protective to the skin formula contains uh, borax and beeswax this borax soap is obtained by free acids the beeswax and borax it's sodium borate the sodium soap obtained gives oil in water type of emulsion but on storage the phase inversion occurs and thus the cold cream will be of water and oil type of emulsion and that is known as the cold cream and there are some idle requirements for each dosage form for each types uh, when talking about this cold cream uh, it should have optimum ph that is 4.6 to 6 consistency should be optimum should not be sticky should be attractive in appearance penetration through epidermis of skin uh, it should be desirable it must be non irritant and non inflammatory should give cooling effects ingredients used for preparation of cold cream normally uh, the following ingredients are used the mineral oil the liquid paraffin will be acting as mineral oil white beeswax which acts as a thickening agent and emulsifier and also it is a base for the cream borax which acts as emulsifier and responsible for the whiteness white color of the cold cream other ingredients like alcohol glycerin lanolin perfume uh, you know alcohol glycerin lanolin can act as a humectant perfume provides fr fragrance cold cream it was traditionally based on the nature of based on the mixture of waxes and vegetable oils and the waxes it can be natural too and it is stabilized with the borax at the turn of the century mineral oil have been replaced the more unstable vegetable oils in a cold cream the proportion of fatty acid and oily material predetermines but application to the skin results in a cooling effect which is produced from the slow evaporation of the water which are contained in the emulsion replacement of part of the mineral oil with up to 15% of petroleum jelly can be used to produce different textures and consistencies further substitution with fatty acid esters such as isopropyl mercetate improves the thixotropic behavior of the cream thus improving its spread its uh, spreading properties procedure and this is the uh, ingredient which have been uh, used for the preparation of cold cream initially the mineral oil and these bags are jacketed uh, placed in the jacketed vessel and at the temperature of 75 degree centigrade and another container dissolved borax and preservative uh, which which have been dissolved in the water and maintain the same temperature like of the mineral oil and beeswax and this we say it as an aqueous phase uh, uh, slowly add this aqueous phase to the mineral oil which have been preheated which have been heated uh, to the oily phase further mix it uh, cool to 35 degrees centigrade then add perfume next is vanishing cream Vanishing cream, it gets a name from the fact that it leaves no trace when rubbed in the skin. You can say that it is non-greasy in nature. Whereas this cold cream, as it contains more amount of water, no, uh, the, it gives a cooling sensation. Here in the vanishing cream doesn't give a cooling sensation. Um, and these are oil and water type of emulsions. 
it contains large percentage of water stearic acid and other oleaginous components after application the continuous phase evaporates leaving behind a thin residue film of the stearic acid ideal properties of uh, vanishing cream uh, it has got high melting point uh, uh, the uh, the the one which we want to use the base could have got a high melting point pure whiteness very little odor and low adding number rub easily on the skin the ingredients which are used uh, for the preparation of vanishing cream are stearic acid it's a major component of the vanishing cream good quality uh, and and whatever the ingredients used uh, it should be of a good quality and soft formed in situ by the reaction between alkali and the stearic acid and that determines the hardness of the cream uh, it governs the consistency of the cream to the stearic acid the next ingredient is the humectants Glycerol most uh, favored, uh, followed by sorbitol, propylene glycol. Propylene glycol. It prevents excessive drying of the drying of the cream. As I said, that stearic acid will react with the alkali. So examples for alkalis are potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, sodium carbonate, triethanolamine, and borax. This potassium hydroxide is mostly used since makes a cream of fine texture without excessive harshness. Sodium or potassium hydroxide, when used alone, forms hard cream. Hence, used always in combination. Borax used in combination with potassium hydroxide or triethanolamine to form white emulsion. Carbonates not favor. It liberates carbon dioxide and creams become spongy. So these I have concise uh, the usage of uh, the ingredients which are present for the vanishing cream. <clears throat> Other than this, I said up to the uh, alkalis. Still, there are examples too, and again, emulsifying agents are used. Purified water, as I told that the vanishing cream contains more amount of water. Mm, it provides stability to the cream because hard water leads to the formation of magnesium, causing inversion of the emulsion. Preservatives, it prevents deterioration caused by the bacteria. Perfumes, as an it imparts order to the preparation. Method of preparation: Stearic acid will be melted in the container by using water bath. Potassium hydroxide, which is an alkali, dissolved in water and glycerin is added and heated to the temperature of seventy-five degrees centigrade, and this is called aqueous phase. Aqueous phase is added to the melted stearic acid. Further on cooling, uh, when it is you know when the temperature is reduced, the perfume is added. Evaluation test, evaluation evaluation test for cold cream and vanishing cream. Its consistency, that is viscosity, to be identified. Skin irritation test to be carried out on animals. Net content in the container. Test for microbial growth, rancidity, color and physical appearance. Biological testing, especially if the creams contain antiseptics, hormones, vitamin, vitamins, uh, it's important the biological testing to be performed. Now let me uh, differentiate the cold cream and vanishing cream. Vanishing cream is oil in water type of emulsion. It contains more amount of water. As well, sorry, as specified here as less amount. Uh, please change it as more amount of water. Contains more amount of water. They are non-greasy and easily removed from the skin. It is used as an adhesive for makeup powders. Reduces loss of moisture from dry skin. Smoothens the skin and keeps it soft. Prevents skin from roughening and chapping. Cold cream is water and oil type of emulsion. It contains less amount of water when compared to the vanishing cream. Please make a change on it. Have cooling sensation. Typically used to cleanse the face of uh, makeup. Heavily moisturizes the dry skin. Can also be used as a balm for dry, cracked lips. Can also be used as a shaving cream, alternative for men. So these are the aspects which are related to the cold cream and vanishing cream.